Hi, it's Mike Matthews, Superintendent of Manhattan Beach Unified School District, giving my Evernote 102 uh, presentation here. In the first 101, we talked about how you set up your Evernote account and get that going. And now we're going to talk about how you actually use it. So um, let's go and talk about Evernote. So I mentioned before that um, I used to have all these devices for keeping notes. I meet for a living, really, and... Um, uh, so I had to keep track of all those things for many years, and now all that, thanks to Evernote, is practically gone. I'm about 95% paperless in my life, and my Evernote is what I pr rely, rely on primarily. Um, so let's talk about the actual note-taking device. This is on the iPad, and you can see here there are multiple ways of taking notes. Um, the first one, of course, is just typing, uh, typing in notes as you go along. Um, but, as you can see here, uh, I love the fact that uh, you can use your camera to take a picture of anything you want and then type about that below there. Um, you can also upload any pictures you have. And uh, this, the, the actual audio note, I don't use that often, but I have used it some to augment what I'm doing otherwise. And so those are all different ways that you can use a note to take notes in a variety of settings. With the new uh, version of iPad and Siri on uh, the iPhones, you can actually, I will walk out of a meeting and then stop and just press the little microphone device down there and I will talk my way through the summary of the meeting. So maybe it's in my car, maybe it's uh, just at my desk, but I will just give a quick version of what occurred in that meeting. The iPad slash iPhone will uh, turn it into text and I have a pretty darn good representation of what occurred in that meeting, and it happens very, very fast. I think that's a great feature uh, on the new iPad new iPad. So examples of what I do, uh, here's a bike ride I took uh, up in the Santa Monica Mountains, looking down on Lake Sherwood down there. So I can take, you can see I've taken several pictures, this is just one. I can, I can put the route of the bike ride in there, I can upload a map that I did there and send that to anyone. It's a great way to remember a ride. Also with family stuff, this is a, a game ball that my son Dawson won. Uh, he uh, won this, uh, it was his first one he ever did. And what do I do with a game ball? Uh, probably nothing, um, because I'm not that kind of organized person. And he has kept it and already played with it, so it's already destroyed. But it's in my Evernote. I have a couple pictures with him holding it, and there's my hand with it. And I can tell the story, and I'll always have that memory right there in the Evernote files. So, I'm going to encourage you to create your own Evernote note. Start with the title. Um, um, anything you want to do there, type in a line from this meeting so far, add a picture from your camera, maybe a picture from your library, and try a voice memo, and let's see how you do with that. And when you're done with that, unpause, and we'll come back and keep going. And we're back. I'm assuming you're unpaused. I'm, I'm assuming you've tried that out and it was successful. So congratulations on that. You're now typing Evernote notes. Um, now, in terms of organizing notes, it used to be that uh, you had file cabinets full of stuff. But those are, as I mentioned before, my file, my, uh, file folders are practically gone. There are two ways to uh, keep notes uh, and keep track of them and organize them. And by the way, some people say don't do anything because you can search each note by all words. So why even try anything? But I'm still a little bit old-fashioned. Uh, one way is with um, notebooks. Picture that as like a giant file drawer you want to put stuff in. So I have a file drawer, for example, for my work. I have a file drawer for my uh, home life. I have a file drawer for my family. And um, it's just a big way of looking at things, and so you can keep things separated that, war, that way. The more important one, actually, is the tags. And that's where you're actually... And picture it this way. When you have a, sa a song that you want to put onto a playlist... You don't have to choose one playlist for that song. It can have multiple uses. Similarly, you used to have to decide which file to put a, put a piece of paper into. No more. You, you, you attach tags to each note that you have. One, two, or ten. Whatever it is. And so you can create a tag for a project you're working on. You can create a tag for a person you're working with. You can create a tag for a uh, event you're looking forward to. Any of those things. Um, if you're a teacher, you make a tag for each one of your students. 
um, for a, and one for phone logs, all those sorts of things. And so it's a great way to keep organized in what you do. Um, and you can see how you do that. You can see um, you have the notebook that you can select. when you, If you press this I button on your notes up here, you press that. Then you can choose a notebook, and you can create and choose the tag there. And so that's how you do that, and you'll see it's a great way to keep organized later on. All right, another very important attribute of Evernote is the Evernote email address. Um, so when I read a certain article, here's an article from Chris Erskine, a uh, very funny guy who has uh, kids my own age and who writes um, in a much more humorous way than I ever could, but yet it uh, brings me a lot of joy. Um, I can email it. So where do I email it? I can email it to my Evernote address. And you can email anything to your Evernote address because you have an Evernote email address already. To get that, uh, those are the instructions there. Um, let me show you this way here. Go to your account button in the top left corner, and you will uh, you'll see that this thing come up, and you'll click on the Evernote email address. Once you click on that, you'll see um, these come up. I, I suggest adding it to your contacts. Uh, call it Evernote Upload, Evernote for your name. There you are there with, uh, with your email address, and you add it into your contacts. And from that point on, when you see an article you like on your iPad or iPhone or computer, all you got to do is email and then type in Evernote, and it'll come up as your address, and wham, it goes to your email account, and uh, it's fantastic there. So pause for a moment here, and let's add your email address to your account, uh, to your contacts account and we'll have that going for us. I will be here when you come back. And we're back again. You now have an Evernote email address. You and rolling. One more cool thing about Evernote is you can see where you took your notes. So here's the US of A. There you might some a few notes I took in Arkansas. I've done some traveling on the East Coast as well. But the bulk of my notes are down here. And you can see when you open it up, um, I work here in Manhattan Beach. I live here in Malibu, and that's where most of my notes are taken, but you can see I've gone around to various places throughout the Southern California, and I can click on any one of those, and it will show me all the notes I took in that area. A useful, but really more cool uh, attribute of Evernote. Um, I will suggest also you download Evernote to your PC or Mac, uh, because it's even more powerful. Uh, one of the great things is you can create a, a, a URL address for any note that you have. So you create a note, you say share, you say copy URL address, and in an email you write, you, you just put that URL address in there. They can click on it and go right to your Evernote note, only that note, and you, there's, you've shared it very easily with other people without having to add attachments to anything. Great device. Uh, the web clipping is also great. So you uh, pop on a website, you see something you like, you just click on the, the Evernote button, it will go right to your Evernote account. You can upload files on there and um, from, 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 from your documents, anything you want, you can upload on there. And then you have to figure out eventually whether Evernote Premium is for you. Evernote is free. I pay $45 a year for Evernote Premium because I upload so much to the account. You can make that decision on your own. Um, but as you can probably guess, I'm a big fan, and I use it to its fullest extent. Um, one thing also on the desktop client is uh, when you search uh, for anything, like I, here I'm searching for the word Pacific, and not only does, does, it, does the usual stuff come up about it, I also see that it found Evernote, 89 Evernote notes in my account that said Pacific in there too. So it searches everything, including your Evernote stuff. Uh, last thing is, um, if you want to fully utilize everything in this account, then when you get paper uh, of any kind, scan it right into your computer, um, and we'll go into your account, and then you can um, shred that paper and get rid of it. So I, I do recommend the Scan Snap. This is uh, not the biggest one they have there. It's one I have at home. Um, I think it's a great device, and it goes right into my Evernote account, and every word of every document is searchable and readable on there. You can also, on your copy machine at work, um, uh, plug in your Evernote email address into that and scan it right, right that way into your Evernote address as well. So,
Those are some ways I use Evernote. Um, I, I think the most important thing is to believe in it, um, and it will allow you to keep everything there, um, and you too can be almost completely paperless by trying this great device. Thank you very much for your time, and good luck using Evernote.